Let's take a look. Mr. Meeseek here. Okay. We're going to go ahead get started. Music's a bit loud. Maybe one percent. This one did not work out so well. Can I delete these? Guess I'd have to go into my save folder. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna load it up here. Crawler. Oh, this must be it. Okay, we got this guy. It looks like we can add on to it a bit more. Let's see where the center is. There we go. Pull it that way. Give it a little more length. Oh, yeah. We're taking these fuel tanks here. Take a long liquid fuel fuselage. And we're stacking them onto the end here. Let's see. Oh, perfect. We can keep the. Uh, does not like. There we go. All the fuel out. Okay, let's take another one. some reason it is not liking symmetry right now. I guess that's okay. Just complete this guy up. Another liquid fuel fuselage here. Look at that. Real question is will this thing launch? Take the fuel out, let's grab another one. This thing's pretty long. Okay, all the fuel's out. Let's make some extra connections here just to strengthen her up a bit. Uh, see, this is. Yeah, this is one, so let's connect these guys. Connect these guys. Perfect. 
real question is, will this thing actually move? Or fall, just explode into a million pieces? Come on. Oh man, this is giving me some trouble here. Go like that. Perfect. Well, let's just see. Please don't explode. There's a 50% chance this thing just explodes into a million pieces. Oh. Holy crap. Actually works. Looks pretty stable. Those look pretty crappy down at the end there. Well, let's see if she floats, I guess. See if we can get the engine started. Having issues with that for some reason. Come on. Am I out of... Oh, ha. Huh. Need to put a pilot. Throw a pilot in here. Let's see. Bobbly Kerman... You're coming with me. Take this thing out for a little test swim, I guess. Not a flight. I don't think this thing would fly at all. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. that is but hopefully it's not too loud okay I pretty much have no control over where this thing goes so let's just there goes the uh, little plane I sent to Antarctica and back way smaller than the plane it just built <clears throat> okay let's come on how fast this thing will go on the water if it even gets in the water I think we're gonna hit that light now I don't believe there's a hitbox for that but we will surely find out oh please oh look at that oh shoot didn't even hit it Here we go. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Oh, no. Okay. I think we're slowing down. Okay. Okay. Speeding back up. Oh, God. This... Oh, God. I can't slow down. We're going fast. We're going fast. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. these guys with fuel. Let's just turn these off. I think we'll get better fuel efficiency this way. There we go.
bail these guys off, I made a little system just to chuck them right off into the water. See if it works. Okay, I guess now the real question is, can we land on it? It's a big question. It's pretty long. So let's... Oh, we gotta wait for it to stop. Can I time accelerate here? There is no braking, unfortunately. Come on, bubbly. Let's stop this thing. station why not so we got that guy out there let's go back okay now we'll see if my Harrier actually works let's take a look here okay three point let's just say V4 here we go. Okay, let's open up our Harrier. Our Harrier V2. What's up with this one? Okay, we'll see. Okay. Now this is kind of odd how it works, so we'll have to we have to put the brakes on, start it up, spring throttle all the way down. Now let's uh, honestly we should be able to take off. Let's just take off, see what happens. We'll do a vertical takeoff this time. Now, if we hit all of our engines should be shut down except our main engine. Looks like one of these guys. I need to put that to a key here. Okay, now let's head over here. Okay, let's so, throw on our engine. Throw it down over here, which also turns on some more engines. Too much, too much, too much. Not the most stable thing in the world. Just pull it around. Oh, we need to shut down this engine too. Let's, let's do a locked view just so. That's good. Okay, let's take a look at where the carrier is. A lot of throttle on just to keep this thing in the air. Okay. Coming down. Definitely not the best approach in the world, I would say. plan right now is we're going to pass over it, turn around, and try to come down for landing again. If that actually happens, it's another thing. Now, I don't believe this plane can really straight up hover. 
can get pretty close, but I think I need to be moving forward just a little bit. Okay, come around once more. Got a little altitude here, so I gotta keep that throttle on. Okay, turn it around. Come on. Oh. oh no. Throttle, 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 throttle. Oh snap. <laughs> no, we lost our intake, but actually, we'll be okay. Luckily, this thing can take off out of the water. Extremely close. Let's see if we can turn around in that. Let's see, S steering enabled. There we go. Okay. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, brake. Now I think I can burst thrust on this guy. Activate engine. Let's see if I can not fall off the end of this thing. We have a back wheel here. Okay. Let's do forward thrust. I probably should actually put these guys on the other side. Okay. We're going to try and take off. <laughs> oh no. What just happened? Oh no. We're committed now. Oh no. What's going on? No. Whoa. What is going on? Sparks are flying. Wow, that was close to not good. Now I think we're gonna do better. I think we're gonna do better than this. So we're gonna go back to uh, space plane hangar here, and we're gonna work on maybe make something else. Um, I can't see if anyone's watching. Uh, let me know what you think I should build to land on this thing. I don't know if I should build a uh, maybe a helicopter type thing, a total vertical takeoff and landing, or maybe a maybe a, like something similar to the Harrier. Let's go. Let's go something new. Let's see here. It'd be kind of cool to like. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So we're gonna take a fuel tank. So this will be a little bit big. See coupling. 
You know what? Oh yeah, this will payload. This could be pretty cool. What if we did something like that? Okay. Let's get some fuel on board this puppy, and then we can uh, try something out. Monopropellant liquid fuel. Short. That's good enough for me. We don't need a ton of fuel. Okay, then we're going to take structural coupling. No, payload. Payload! Take this. We're going to flip this upside down. I think this is where our engine is going to be now. We're going to have to figure out the balance of this thing, so let's put a tail. Put a tail on it. Fuel tank. I, n I don't know why this one appears this way. I'd assume it appear this way. Huh. Okay. You know what? In order to. Oh, how much fuel? 400. 180. Maybe to balance out this a little better. Let's uh, throw let's throw a liquid fuel back here. There we go. That's about perfect. I mean, we're, we'll put an engine or something on the back of here. But what kind of engine do we want to do? How much stationary thrust? 130 kilonewtons. 107. This thing's a wee bit too powerful, I think. But you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Oh, that moves our center of mass way back. Maybe, maybe we won't put any fuel in this guy. Then, then our fuel will always stay completely between this guy, which will be where we throw our engine. Let's uh, flip this guy. Let's get to the inside here. I think this would be pretty cool. Okay. Throw this right kind of in the center here. Oop. Where did that go? Wrong side. Let's see. It's pretty much, oh, come on. Pretty much in the center. There we go. But now we're going to need a super powerful engine to get this guy in the air. I think this is going to be too big. About Let's kind of look at the cost. Let's see which one might. So this is going to put out 107. But I wonder if this is going to be too big itself. Oof. I may have to mess around with something. Close this guy. Because I could make. Ooh, control Z. Control Z. I could make an action key to turn on this engine and open these doors at the same time, which would be pretty. pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Let's bring this up a little more then. Bring this up. Oh yeah, it's showing a little up there, but you know that's not too bad. Let's let's try a little more. There we go. You know what? That's about perfect. But now the real question is, what are we gonna do for intakes? Let's make some. Uh, let's just. Let's put some. Let's take a look here. Put fuel tanks on the wings and kind of make them into uh, a little big. Let's do these small ones. Let's go by name. Let's do these small ones right here. Yeah, why not? Give us a little extra fuel. Now these are a pain in the butt to put together. There we go. So we'll just go like this for now. Sure. Do clean this up. Kind of keep the oh yeah, keep the center mass right on, right in the middle there. Doesn't move too much. Okay. 
Now, aerodynamic. Throw some nose cones. Look at it. It's kind of like a stealth. Uh, these are too small. Let's do these guys. And for good measure, because this thing is probably going to need a lot of air. Ooh, what about these guys? No. Let's put some of these guys on the bottom. Right, you know what? Put them right, right on the side of the wing here. Right in the front. Like that. Yeah, that would be cool. We'll flip this guy over. Let's see where else might look cool. It's kind of over the cockpit there. You know, we can actually put these kind of on top to make it almost look like it's kind of fanning into there. Yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's starting to look pretty cool. Now we're going to want some canards, but we want them facing this way. Let's go up. It's kind of a stealth fighter, so let's just do, let's just do those. That looks cool. Then there's a main wing. Let's see, I, th I do like the look of these swept wings. Maybe we can jazz them up a little bit. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, a little, I think a little too swept for me. Take a look. Oh, you know, that's not too bad. But let's take them, rotate them forward a little bit. Oh, that's the cockpit. Rotate them forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing's a beast. Might be a little too big. See if we can get this thing to actually fly the first time. We need a little something in the front, so let's put a let's put some canards, yeah. This kind of stealth fighter looking, so why not? Jazz it up a little bit. Perfect. That is exactly. Wow, this thing's kind of futuristic looking. Let's throw some landing gear on it. If this thing, if this thing flies perfectly the first time, I'm going to be amazed. Throw that landing gear there. Why not? I kind of want a short wheelbase on this thing, just because. And you know, we'll put throw some of these on it. You know, kind of beef it up, especially if it's going to be like kind of landing on that carrier there. So. Two of them. Oh, th those make little perfect areas to throw this gear on. But the gear is a bit too long, so we'll just throw them up into there. Perfect. Wow, that is that is sweet looking. Uh, let's just take take maybe this thing, flip it around, throw them on the end of here. Of course, that's going to be super hard, so we'll just pull them out real quick. Pull them out. Is that all? Yes, it is. Come on. Oh. No. Come on. Wow. That is not wanting to go on there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Bring this on in. Oh, bring this on in. Okay, I mean, <laughs> that's about as perfect as we can probably get it. Let's, uh, we're going to only activate this engine on startup, and we need to throw on some flaps here. Say some. These aren't flaps. These could be flaps, I guess. I might make them action keys, but these are elevators. No, ailerons. Duh. Okay. Let's throw these here. Perfect. Wow, this thing looks uh, pretty badass for sure. Okay, let's. Uh, I guess 
Um, let's let's set this. Let's set these keys here. Now, because I haven't said anything yet, I'm just going to use RCS. RCS will toggle bay doors. Just now open that. And it'll also toggle engine. That'll be my little cheating way of opening this up so close. That should look pretty cool when I put them together here. Let's see if it uh, actually works. I don't know if it's going to have enough thrust to lift this thing up. This is probably a super heavy, super heavy aircraft. Let's just, I guess, let's just try out this uh, engine here. We'll throw on the brakes. So I, I'll just press R here. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, put full throttle. Take off. I don't think it's gonna have enough power. What if we add a little forward momentum? Brakes. Anything? Anything? Nothing. Take off eventually here. Just want to see how this thing flies. We won't turn SAS on because it just kind of wants by itself how it flies. It's actually very well balanced already. Pretty impressive. This is no input at all. Now we're moving up a bit. Okay. Uh, we'll turn around, come in for a landing with just our, just our under. So this thing looks pretty cool. Whoa, look at those wings. I didn't realize they would, uh, whoa. They flexed quite a bit. Okay, so now we got to so we press R, which opens that up. Maybe if we throw two under there, I bet we could do that. Let's just see how. So this is no SAS. And man, this thing actually flies perfectly. Let's hold it great level. Let's see what happens. No throw, no input. Wow, that's pretty perfect. Actually, I need to lower the throttle a little bit to get this thing to come down. We'll throw on RSA is just for good measure here. Let's see how short of an area to go land again. Pitching back here, just kill off as much speed as possible. Oh, a little hard. A little hard. Way too hard. Wow. Oh, okay. Revert flight. Let's uh. Let's take a look here. I think we can. Let's take a look. Let's open this guy up. You know what? We'll flip this guy over. Oopsies. Let's flip her over. There we go. So we got that. I bet, I bet if we put even just two of these, the little engines in there, we'll be okay. Let's flip these guys around. Can't see them for whatever reason. There we go, that should... There we go. Oh, they do not like to be out there. There we go. We'll just pull them out a little bit. Rotate them up. 
And let's grab some. Grab them. These are a little bigger than I thought. This might clip a bit. Oh, you know what? No, that's not bad at all. Now let's grab these guys. Pull them. Pull them over. Perfect. I think they're pretty much right in line. Oh, yeah. Oop. So let's close this back up. As I open it back up. And we have to pull these guys into my RCS action group here. Toggle. And do you know what? Let's have this. Let's have this toggle this engine as well. Because if we just start up one of them, then we'll be able to. Okay, so yeah, we'll start up. Okay, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll call this the X. X1, why not? Okay, let's take a, let's flip her over. How about? There we go. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so we'll start this main engine. And lower the throttle. And then we'll press R. So it should shut down this engine, which it does. And it activates these ones. Perfect. Well, let's take a look and see if this thing actually takes off. probably don't need fuel. It's probably weighing this thing down. I mean, it's just... How much fuel is this thing, actually? 1,300 fuel, that's, that's a bit much. So we wanted to empty out all of these tanks, because we are so close. Boom, there we go. Okay, let's take a take a look. Let's put on our brake. I mean, I guess all you needed for is take off and landing. 
because we just press Q. R. It's burning half a fuel a second. What's this guy burning? Way more than that. But luckily, I'm not doing this for too long, so let's just fly over here. This thing is massive, so I don't know how it's going to do, but we'll find out. Come on, Bessie. What's going on? This thing still is not powerful enough. Look at this, and our little cockpit is flying in the air. 100, no, 1,300 meters. Holy crap. Okay, revert flight. Go to space plane hangar. Let's save this guy. Let's leave here. Let's just clean up some of that debris out there. Slowing my frames down. Okay. Recover. 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 We'll recover this one. We'll recover this one. Perfect. I don't know what's over here. T2. Oh no! my transport plane. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're back. Dumped a lot of fuel. The only thing I can think of is let's open this guy up. Let's uh take this guy out. Take these guys out. We're gonna take this. I don't think we're going to get these all the way in there. So let's just uh, cap these guys off. Maybe with some... Oh, maybe like... Would this, this guy just look ridiculous or what? Just... Move these guys. Oh. Okay, so let's go into here. So RCS will take this guy. Let's so let's just yeah, toggle engine. So let's do toggle engine switch mode. So that means it'll always be an afterburner mode. Let's close this guy. Yeah, we can uh, toggle this engine as well. 
Okay, let's go. an affair. We're gonna cheat a little bit. Let's throw these guys back here. Not that they're really doing anything. Oh, also those guys came off. That is probably our issue. So let's go. We're gonna really and I go like this and grab two more. We'll go like boom. We'll move these guys forward a little more like that. Looks a little ridiculous, but you know, who cares? You can always clean it up later. Good flight.
What's going on? Ooh, that was a close one. See if it can actually turn around on here. Let's uh, break. It's F5. This thing is massive. Quick save. I'll just quick say hello to everyone. Okay. Oh, those wheels turn too, which is cool. So let's just see if we can. Thank you.